Miles Garrett, TJ Watt. Take a look at this stat comparison. Uh, Marcus Mosier tweets this out. So Miles Garrett has played less snaps. He has more pressures, same amount of Q QB hits, more hurries, same amount of sacks, uh, according to PFF. More forced fumbles, better win rate, um, higher rate in, in PRP, TPS win rate, almost double. Um, <laughs> the 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 bottom line is he's played about 50 less snaps, and it's helped keep him fresher. And Miles Garrett is outperforming T.J. Watt by quite a bit. Yeah, this is the never-ending debate between Browns fans and Steeler fans. It seems like no matter what the national praise that Miles Garrett gets, you see Steeler fans in the comment section uh, talking about, well, T.J. Watt has more sacks, and he has this, and he has that, but. The stats back it up this year. Miles Garrett has been the better player. I mean, you see the numbers he's putting up and 51 less pass rushing snaps than, than Watt. And he's so been so dominant on the field. That's not to take away the player of TJ TJ Watt's caliber. He is a great player too. I think it's so funny that it's always the Miles Garrett, TJ Watt debate, but then no one ever brings up Nick Bosa or uh, Micah Parsons, all these great pass rushers. It always comes down to Miles and TJ, but they're both great players. But at the end of the day, the stats back it up. Miles has been the better player this year. And this this debate will go on to the end of their careers. They were both drafted in the same draft class. It's the Browns and Steelers rivalry, so that's always going to get brought up. But right now, the stats back it up. Miles is the better defensive player. And I think overall, Miles has been the better defensive player in his career because people tend to forget TJ has more stats padded up when you compare the two for their careers. But Miles missed games with injury, the unfortunate suspension in 2019. But Miles has just been so dominant, and the stats back it up for sure.